if you've not subscribed consider subscribing and also click on the notification button to get notification on videos as soon as it's uploaded so on my screen you can see a data which is not well organized and this is a data that was sent to me by a client to work on so i'm just going to take you through a live uh, data analytics session for a client and this data needs to be cleaned so if we can remember from the previous lessons we talked about data analytics pipeline and one of the processes or pipeline is data cleaning and data transformation so there has to be a lot of work to be done on this data to get it in a good shape before we can perform analysis on it so this is a sales record which is generated from a sales management or an inventory management system and uh, i have to clean it so i'm just going to take you through a live section of how i'll clean this data right so i'll use excel to do that and we can read from the data that is a sales is generated from sales vouchers and it's from 1st september 2022 to 31st march 2023 so first of all i will look at the date column and try to work on it so we can read from this data that all these are sales that occurred on the 9th of september 2022 so what i'll do is i'll just move this date here and drag it to the last sale and you see this icon here just click on it and choose copy cell because i want uh, the date 9th september 2022 to appear for all the sales so i'll just choose copy cell copy cell will just copy or duplicate uh, the date this date into the rest of the cells after that i'll just delete this column because this row sorry because i don't need it anymore then i can also delete this row okay then when you come to this part to this is the date for this section of the sales or these rows so what i'll do is i'll just drag it down again i'll drag it and choose copy cell to copy the the same date or duplicate the same date for all the sales for that day right so i'll just copy this and paste here then this date is for uh, these seals so let me just delete this because we don't need it i'll drag again to the last seal click on the drop down and choose copy cell once again okay let me move this date here drag again choose copy cell right so this is kind of tedious but then as a data analyst you have to do this to clean your data before you'll be able to perform any analysis on it and sometimes data can come to you at the raw state and it's up to you to make sure that you transform it to a better uh, data before you can use or you can analyze it so as i said data analytics entails a lot and it's very fun to do and tedious as well but if you know what you are doing it will be easy for you to work on okay let me drag once again copy cell while we have let me delete this so what i will do is i will pause this video and continue with the same process after that 
I will take you through the next step of the data processing. I want to speed up so that we don't waste much time here. So I will pause and speed up and come back again with the next cleaning exercise. Okay, welcome back once again. So behind the scenes, I was able to apply the dates to all the sales so that I can speed up the process. So the next set of cleaning or transformation that we will do follow suit. So the next one is we have to get rid of all unwanted fields. So we don't need these fields. Let's get rid of them. We also don't need these fields. We don't need this blank field here. Then we don't need the voucher type. Okay, so now we have the date particular. So we'll change particulars to items. Make it small letters. Items. Then this is the quantity. Then we have the unit price. Unit price. Okay. Then you see we have these cash then local sales. We don't want them. So we have to get rid of them. And to do that, we will use the sort and filter. You select filter. Drop down the filter. Type cash here. Filter by cash. And you delete all cash fields. Since we don't need them in this analysis okay we also look for local sales local sales and also delete them okay when you are done go back to filter choose filter again to clear the filter okay and the next thing to do is in the quantity field you can see that there are empty spaces that precedes the values in the quantity field and we will use trim function in excel to remove those empty spaces so trim is a function in excel that is used to remove empty spaces okay so we've removed the empty spaces preceding the values and when you are done you just right click copy it and paste it at the original place and mind you when pasting a uh, field that has formats or functions you don't need to use the first paste you have to paste as what values okay now you can delete this one and the next thing is uh, we need to you see we don't want this bag here because we need quantities which should be in numeric form we don't want any string here and we need to use the left function in excel to extract the first value so i'll just enter equal to left into brackets then i call the cell as the first parameter followed by the number of characters that i want to extract which is one I close the bracket and by default when you use the left function it converts the value to strength but then we want numbers so I'll just add plus zero which will convert the extracted values back to numbers okay I'll just extract I'll just drag it along okay then 
this one has zero dash one so one is the third digit so we can't use the left function to extract this unless we use another function called mid so i'll just type equal to mid into brackets the first parameter is the cell number followed by the position of the digit that we want to extract which is three then the, we, we add a third argument which is the number of characters that we want to extract one and by default mid function also extracts values into string but then we want values we want numbers so all that we need to do is to add plus zero to convert the string back to uh, back to numbers so i'll pause the video and apply this to all the uh, quantities we have about thousand rows to work on so i just want to speed up so that we can move faster so hold on as i pause the video i'll be back soon 